I totally forgot this is Wolfsbane. For weeks, I thought I was waiting for Feral. Let's go. Geeks, what's poppin'? Marvel Legends Zabu, build a figure wave. We've got Wolfsbane, not Feral. On the back, by the sweet. As a member of the New Mutants, Wolfsbane trains with Professor X to master her powers of Lycanthropy. That's that right. All right, for accessories, she just got a set of fists, and she also comes hauling Zabu's carcass. Arr, holy furry fist man. That mid skull looks pretty nice. I remember seeing this version of her on comic book covers when I was in college, at the time I wasn't reading. I don't know which artist this head sculpt is based on, but the pictures I saw, I think it was Rob Liefeld that did them. If you know which artist it's based on, let me know in the comments. Paint job is really clean for the most part. I like the silver deco on the buckles. Right up on the X, I got a little bit of smudge. Maybe I can get that out. I like the zipper going right across there. It even has a little circle that you can pull down. I'm digging that the fur is sculpted in and not painted on like Wolverine's arm hair. And also down here in her calf, you can see that they've got a wash to differentiate that bunch of fur from the rest of the fur on her legs. Her feet are a little small though. You got a 360 up top. It's really loose. Do get a nice tilt left, nice tilt right, down. And wow, the head sculpt actually looks better with it tilted down. It looks totally different. Is it just me? Oh yeah, I'm gonna show off that head's point down. Looking up, she's got that crane neck. <laughs> I smell Cheetos. Arms get up yay high, parallel to the shoulders. Huggy, huggy. Furry, not snuggy. She fools you, it looks like it was coming in tight, but it's actually wide. 360 at that shoulder. Intermittent clicks, no intimate kittens. 360 at the bicep. 360 at the wrist. She did the mush. All right, you get your repulsive blast and you kiss the ring. Those vertical hinges there. Pinless double jointed elbows are giving you that work way beyond 90 degrees. And until I bent the elbows, I didn't even notice this fur that's flying off of her forearm. Nice touch. A torso rocker gives it a little hunch over. And of course, you get the wolf's bane way back. Naturally, she can lean with it, rock with it, and she can roll all night long. Also get a 360, 360 at the thigh, nothing at the calf, and 360 at that foot. Rockers, foot range cool, not bad on the band damage, bend, and she's got pinned in this double jointed knees, but because of that extra fur, she's not getting close to kicking her own butt. Toes up, not so much, toes down, all the way down. All right, let's get big. In this chart! Tippy top of her wingtip hair is six inches. Top of her head is about five and three quarters. I like it. She grew on me. I was not a fan of the head sculpt when she was announced and revealed. I was not a fan of the head sculpt when I saw the promo pics. I was not a fan of the head sculpt when I saw her in the box. But she grew on me throughout the review. Is it perfect? No. Do I love it? No. But I do like it. I like the yellow on her outfit too. I still think her feet are a little small. Not because she has any problems standing up. I didn't have any problems posing her at all. She's actually got pretty good balance. But they just look small for her body. So yeah, not many complaints. Another X-Men figure to put on the show. All right, so that was a quick review. I gotta go catch a plane, so I'm out of here. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, share a link with a friend. Jump in the comments, let me know what you think of this figure. Do you think it was well executed? Do you think it could have done better? If you were in charge over at Hasbro, what would you have done differently with this figure? Make sure to join our Facebook group. And you can go to the left hand corner of your screen. We chat the class 24 7 there. Keep coming back for more. Until next time, geek out.